And I remember when you were sleeping in the office in the knock process 24 seven. And Simran used to bring pratas for you. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> and you know, like that is the work ethic. That is the the kind of hunger, that grit, that resilience that it takes to to create this type of delta. Oh my God! Wow! Get ready for a transcontinental trip from India to the United States with Aki Verma, IT by Design's VP of Service Delivery and Operations. From his humble beginnings as a help desk engineer in India to his spectacular rise in America's tech industry, this big problem solver and master of culture shares his 6,000 mile journey. It's a coming to America tale you don't want to miss. So let's hand it over to our host, Sonny Kayla, and get ready for an incredible ride. Over to you, Sonny. Hi, Aki. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Sonny. Glad to be here. Yeah, I appreciate you coming to the show. Uh, I have been uh, waiting because uh, we are doing teamwork uh, when you started in India office to now like over a decade. And one person who deserves their story sharing and which I'm very proud of when it comes to my team members is, you know, very proud of you as my team member. And I'm super excited about sharing your journey today with the world because the delta that you created in your life in terms of where you started to where you are today is amazing and it's very inspirational and I want us to share this from the place of inspiring our next generation as well. So that's probably a good start, uh, Aki. Can you please share your career journey with us? Yeah, Sunny, first of all, you know, thank you. Uh, it's always a privilege to be uh, with you and always having some great, great conversations. Yeah, my journey has been really transformational. Uh, you know, as a child, I grew up in Punjab, India, and, you know, did my studies and did my college education graduation from India. It was that time when a lot of people were getting into information technology sector. And I remember I started my journey with Dell Technologies. And that was my first job. And I was super excited about talking to a lot of customers around the world. And that was my first, <laughs> first, first opportunity to make some sort of impact for my team. Fast forward a few years working with Dell, then, you know, I got the opportunity to work with IT by Design and it's been 11 years now. I started with IT by yeah. Design in India office as a help desk engineer and, you know, worked my way up uh, as a manager in one of the teams in India. And then you gave me the opportunity to move to US, which was, I think, one of the defining moments of my life. And when I came here, I started working as a on-site engineer, technical account manager. So I have lived that journey from last 11, 12 years. And today in my existing role, I'm working as VP of operations and service delivery and running one of the biggest divisions in IT by design and one of the most profitable divisions at IT by design. Yes. In my existing responsibility, I serve many, many MSPs today and trying to solve their biggest challenges, whether those challenges are related to talent, whether those challenges are related to infrastructure management or cybersecurity. So really, yeah. really, you know, privileged to be able to embark myself on this journey. And during this time, I met so many great individuals that have helped me uh, to where I am today. Yeah. The only word that comes to my mind when you were sharing your journey is wow. Why that wow feeling is there is because, you know, opportunities are there. It was your courage, your hunger to step up to the plate, take new challenges, having that courage, commitment to bigger future, making those choices, and then also putting your work ethic, hard work, everything behind it, so that that new commitment, new courage to build a new capability was successful. And I remember when you were sleeping in the office in the knock process 24 seven, and Simran used to bring pratas for you, <laughs> and, you know, like that is the work ethic, that is the the kind of hunger, that grit, that resilience that it takes to, to create this type of delta. One thing that we have in common uh, is that we, we are both from the state of Punjab and the city Jalandhar. 
and we both moved to Jersey City. So our Jalandhar to Jersey City journey is in common as well. Yeah. Right? Jalandhar to Jersey. Yes. So I'm glad that we <laughs> yeah. share that common roots, you know. Yeah. And then taking those opportunities, okay, uh, making that impact to build ITBD community, every role that you have taken and you kind of stayed in the role, but you always did one extra thing. You naturally had that four season strategy, that four season hotels, they have one thing that they always have. And they're all team members, they will do their job and they will figure out one extra thing. With that reference point, I have seen you making an impact on people's wellness. You are a student of wellness, you are very passionate about it. And in your role, the way you impacted people is not only doing your job and doing your activities and leading them, but it's also leading them from their mental health perspective. And whenever we have like, you know, for example, with the Philippines, whenever there's a company need that someone needs to do something extra, you always say, okay, Sunny, I can do this. Yeah, I can take on this. And you are not afraid. There's no fear of taking something new and failing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. The, you are not an HR expert, but you had the courage to say, hey, I'm going to do that one extra thing to see how we can build the HR structure in Philippines. So I think that's one more piece that uh, I wanted to just share from the journey that the only way to create that type of delta and that type of impact on your team members, on your company, whatever you are doing as your work activity to make an impact is have the work ethic and have all these, you know, humble, hungry, smart, all that good stuff behind that. And that's a nice segue to ask that question that what are your top three life lessons that you have learned uh, along this journey. Yeah. Since we're talking to, you know, our future generation, people who are probably graduated and coming out of colleges or they are, you know, in one or two, three, four years of their journey, I think the number one thing that helped me and that helped a lot of people that I talk to is gaining clarity, right? In your personal and professional life, that is the number one life lesson that I want to share with our future generation is take some time out and write down your goals, write down what are you up to in your life and mm -hmm. and imagine and manifest and be very intentional about working towards that. So be intentional. Be intentional. Yeah. So can you talk to me a little bit more? Like, you know, so when people will, okay, I want to be intentional. What are some things that they can do to be more intentional? What are the tools available? What are you doing that helped you adopt this a little bit more and had you make progress in this area? Yeah, uh, I think the number one thing is to really know uh, your domain, right? If, mm -hmm. if you're supporting a certain domain, let's say, you know, for example, if you are an engineer and mm -hmm. if you take the time out, what is your next step in your journey? is that yeah. to become a solutions architect, right? So just taking that understanding and clarity is the number one thing to be intentional because intentions and momentum will build once you take the time out and understand where do you want to be in your life. That's one thing that helped me a lot and being curious about things in life, right? I always ask a lot of questions to a lot of people that I work with so that I, first of all, I gain a lot of information about what are the biggest challenges that my team is facing and then putting myself in that position where mm -hmm. I can become a team member who can help them solve those challenges. So that's the second life lesson that I want to share with, with our team members. And what's the third one? Um, the third one is, you know, just summing everything together uh, that you have to be the CEO of your own life, right? Mm -hmm. You have to architect your life. So take the time out and have that courage that you mentioned initially. Don't be afraid to fail. You know, people who fail are the ones who are trying a lot in life. So don't be afraid to fail and show that courage when you go and put yourself into those positions where you make a, an intentional effort to solve somebody's problem, business challenge, a technical issue, or overall something outside of your own day-to-day. -day. Take the risk. 
and, yeah. and show some courage. Yeah, th- those are great lessons. And when I reflect on your journey, my journey, these lessons did help. You had clarity when it comes to your intentions, right? When you were working in the Chandigarh office, you knew your intentions and you knew what you were up to, what you want to achieve uh, in terms of your personal vision of success, right? right? And you had that ambition, that hunger, work ethic that you showed. That goes to your second learning that you were always trying to be valuable. So you created more value with those intentions, creating value for team members and value for the company that you support and curiosity like hey i want to just go beyond india and then talk to people all over the world and you knew who you wanted to be hero to not being afraid of failure that you mentioned as a third point uh, you were not afraid of uh, things that normally a lot of people are afraid of moving out of the country like you know being in that stage and in in those times in india first of all moving out of that close, you know, like a very suburb area, very rural area to Chandigarh is a big, like it, it takes courage to move just to Chandigarh. And then t- having another level of courage to move out of the country, leaving your parents, leaving your loved ones, just kind of on your own. You didn't come here with the family. You came here on your own and you were thrown on the street of Sparta here in New York City without a GPS. Right. Right? You know, at a very, very early age. I think you were very young when you moved here. Yeah, How I was old about, were you again? Yeah, I was about 27. Yeah. So at that age, just moving on your own to the probably the biggest city on earth from probably the slowest city on earth, which was Zilander, <laughs> in comparison to Jersey or New York City Metro. So was, we were right next to the Freedom Tower. Yeah, and and it's like you know you require a lot of courage, a lot of discipline, a lot of like you know appetite for risk to do that. So I think there is just so much connection of these three lessons with your life, and really where you are, what we what we were talking about in the in the beginning in terms of you creating the delta so far. Uh, with the resources that you have today, with the 25-year framework thinking that we started, this is how you can really unleash your full human potential, right? Yeah. Everyone can do that, especially in the age that we live right now with information being available to us. So, Aki, thank you so much for coming to the show and sharing very, very valuable lessons that intentions, be intentional, uh, be valuable, and don't be afraid of failures those lessons are really, really high impact lessons if one can take action and adopt into their way of life. And uh, thank you so much for coming to the show and sharing your thinking. And your thank experience. you, Sunny, once again for having me. Uh, always enjoy these conversations. And yeah, uh, all the people out there who are trying to make a bigger future, this is just some information that we have lived that we want to share with them. So good luck to everybody. Absolutely.